animation is no longer out of reach because of resources like Mixmo. Today we will be going over the Mixmo add-on, more specifically retargeting Mixmo animations to different characters. Also stick around because during this video I will be announcing the winner of the Hobby Hunt character raffle. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm going into this assuming you've already installed the Mixmo add-on. So if you have not yet installed the Mixmo add-on, check out this link and watch this video. So once you've installed the add-on, make sure you select your character's bones and then hit create control rig. Then we're going to go back to Mixmo. When in Mixmo, select the animation that you would like to use for your character. I'm just going to be using an idle animation. So another important thing when doing Mixmo, particularly for different characters, is make sure your arm space is correctly selected. If not just to avoid it looking strange for your character model, it'll also help if you're working with cloth sims. I'm going to select character arm space and I'm going to increase it to about 58. And now I can see that there's no clipping. If this is the model you'd like, hit download. Make sure that format is FBX binary, frames per second is 24, and skin, instead of with skin, which it will probably be selected automatically, make sure you select without skin. Now we're going to go back to Blender. Once in Blender, we're going to import the FBX that we just created in Mixamo. Go to File, Import, FBX, and then find wherever you downloaded the FBX. Once you've downloaded the FBX, move it to the side, select your control rig, and then in the Mixmo add-on, go to Source Skeleton, and then X out of the current skeleton, and then select your eyedropper, and use it to select the new skeleton you'd like your control rig to copy. Then hit Apply Animation. Hey everybody. I have found out the hard way that you can't just copy and paste subscribers onto a new page. So you guessed it. I typed in every single new subscriber and here you guys all are. This process, while extremely rewarding, I will say, was painful. So please, 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 please subscribe. If you haven't already, I will endure this hellish nightmare again for all new subscribers to get a chance to choose a character. Remember, whoever wins will get to choose any character they want to be featured in a future Hobby Hunt video. Is everybody ready? Let's go. And there you have it, everybody. Congratulations to Andre Alex for winning this Hobby Hunt character raffle. I will be contacting you, and you, Andre, will get to choose a character of your choice to be featured in a future Hobby Hunt video. This process can take several minutes to finish. However, once it is done, you will see that when you select your control rig, all of the keyframes for the animation are now replaced with the new animation's keyframes. I will add that if you have a cloth sim on your animation, you might have to do a couple more changes to it. So all you need to do is select your new keyframes for your animation and move them over. Then hit Control C. Now we're going to zero out our rig again. Once you've zeroed out your rig, hit A and then I to save all the keyframes for this T-Pose. Now move ahead in frames and then hit Control V. And this will paste back in your animation. However, since we have a cloth sim, we need to bake it in again and we need it to start in a T-Pose. Now I'm going to go back to object mode and I'm going to select our cloth sim and I'm going to hit bake. Now 
Once your cloth sim has finished baking, your animation should be fully complete now. Unless you would like to reuse the FBX frame keys, you no longer need it, so you can delete it. Now all we need to do is render out our new animation. I would like to add that when retargeting animation for different sizes of characters, try and make sure that each character is at least somewhat similar in size. If the proportions are too different, it will affect the quality of the animation. 